as it okay. falls off into the dirt. There's no, there's no ammo in there, so it won't yeah, right. Off. It falls. It falls off. There goes your tire. Right. <laughs> we don't have a spare either. That size. You don't? Not that size. Whiskey. Bob's not going nowhere. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Eric. And I'm Chris. And welcome back to another edition, well, Flash Review. Flash Review. <laughs> flash Review. <laughs> a whiskey in a hammock. We are on a, uh, a whiskey venture, so we decided that we were going to do a Flash Review. <laughs> flash Review. Flash Review. <laughs> I like that. Right? right? We need echoing behind We got though. the dogs. We got the American flags. We got the Jeep. We got the guns. We got the whiskey. Right. And so, like, you know, something for today, like Flash Review. We wanted to do the uh, new Traveler whiskey. You know, Traveler, that's, that's Chris Stapleton's. Chris Stapleton's, and it's the first collaboration with Buffalo Trace. So we did, a, you know, we wanted to do a little side by side. So we also about Buffalo Trace also. Sorry if you hear my nothing but my dog breathing. <laughs> She's a little chubby like your dad, and it's hot outside, so we breathe a little more heavier. All right, Josh, open it up. Ooh, so, fancy. like, so it's the first collaboration between, uh, you know. Um, the master distiller Harlan Wheatley. Harlan Wheatley? Yeah, he's the master distiller at Buffalo Trace. Can First you name Celebrity your, Whiskey. Your favorite Chris Stapleton song? Tennessee Whiskey. Tennessee Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Cheap. <laughs> Lame. Right. Okay, bottle pop ready? Yeah. Beep. Good pop, Chris. Sounds like an AR to me. <laughs> All right. Who, uh, See, I, I, I put you on point, but now I can't remember my favorite Chris <laughs> <laughs> The knife one. Hmm. And so you know what? This is brand new. It only came, just came out in January. So it came out just this year. And curious. Curious and curious. Right? So I'm like, hmm. Give it a nose. Oh, and of course, you got to say that. So they went and sampled. 50 different you know, whiskeys before they decided, to, and they said this was number 40. 40? Number 40 out of 50. How good of a job out. is that? You get 40 barrels, or 40 samples Ooh. deep, and you're like, oh, yeah, this is the one. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, they just, please no more, please no more. <laughs> I don't want any more samples, please. Ooh, wow, yeah, that goes right up your nose. Obviously, Hudson, yeah, Hudson Bear's out with us. Hudson's out with us on the, on the, on the whiskey venture. All right, fellas, you know, cheers. You, got, you guys know anything? Particular, anything different? Wayne, air, air clink. Clink. I get a. Uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty status quo on the nose. Yeah. I don't. I don't think there's anything above no. and beyond on the nose. On the nose, don't. No, nothing new. Uh, nothing different. Nothing. I just exciting. Like, you just dipped your whole mustache in there. I did. Mm, save it for later. Hey, I went to go get a. A good deep smell. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she I said. dipped my mustache in it. <laughs> <laughs> good thing we're camping. Definitely open right. Good yeah. thing there's no ladies around when I just said that. Definitely open. Sorry, you mommy. Up. Yeah. Well, so, and, you know, this is coming up with, you know, 90 proof. And, you know, and the same thing, so, you know, this, you know, comes in, like, you know, 30, 40 bucks a bottle. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. No. Yeah. Buffalo Trace, what, 25 bucks, 26, 27 bucks a bottle? Uh, Depending on like, where you're at. Like, I think it's almost like the same price. Yeah, I want to say the same price. I think the last, I, think the last, I, just, I just bought one. Mm. I think the last Buffalo Trace I bought was 28 bucks. Doesn't burn going down. No, oh, nice and smooth. smooth. Yeah. Are you done with yours? I haven't even tried mine yet. He's a pro. He's a veteran. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. I get like oatmeal cookie. That's, that's when you're my initial... There's a sweetness to it. It's There's like a, a um, mm, snickerdoodle. Well, now we're it's talking the, cookies. Well, it's got the cinnamon taste, I think. It's got a little bit of it does got a little cinnamon to it. For naming cookies, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm about to put one, I'd put a snickerdoodle. Plate. You get any anise? I, I do not get I do not get a little anything. licorice. I get a little black mm. licorice to it. Maybe, like that yeah. sweetness, on the back end of the sweetness is that anise. Kind of. Well, yeah, because it almost gets a little bit, you know, the, the sweetness carrying it falls off pretty quick and then place with that you know kind of a, a bit of sourness so josh what, what do you think i was good smooth my palate is nowhere near as your guy <laughs> well it comes down to like do you like it or do you not like it i would I buy mean, it you would buy it yes 
Oh, okay. Well, you know, I mean, that's what it comes that's down to. The, really. That's the hardest thing is you get one that, that's smooth and tastes good. From Eric's point of view, this definitely gets the Eric stamp of approval. All right. The whiskey and the hammock stamp of approval. No, I, I would too. I mean, it's funny because I've heard. <clears throat> I mean, second that. Yeah. yeah. From a what did you get? What did you pay for it? Twenty-eight bucks, thirty bucks. Yeah. You know, 32, I think. 32, 32 bucks. 32 bucks is, yeah, you can't go wrong with this. No. Nope. All right. All right. Well, you know, pop yeah. open the uh, Buffalo Trace and we'll see what that tastes That's like. That's you, buddy. Oh, it's me? You're the brother. I'm just the brother in law. Sweet. Oh. Hey, well, as live. Hutsy Bear almost took one of the hip. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Watch out. And, like, you know, we you know, actually found these in, you know, in my travels, you know, down to St. Augustine. So, uh, this is from the, you know, after we taste this. You know, so, uh, a couple of Buffalo Trace cigarellos. All right, ready? Ready, hood? What is this, a 50 cal? Got yeah, me. it is. Pretty short and stout. Are we comparing Buffalo Trace to? To Travelers. Travelers? Yeah. yeah. So we've all had Buffalo Trace before, yeah? You've had no? Buffalo Trace before, right? Yes. Yeah. It's been a while. I don't know if, I don't know if you've had it. I don't know. I Ooh, that's the... I have. I'm a fan. I like Buffalo Trace. No, I mean, it's a good easy drinker. Like, you know, for, uh, you know, 30 bucks, it's, yeah. Ooh, it's hotter on the nose than the Traveler is, though. Yeah. It's got a, it's a little more the, hotter going down. The it's got a little more bite to it. Was stronger on the traveler. On the traveler, yeah. Like than you know, when I put my nose, here. yeah, it kind of burned my nose hairs. Yeah, it would open you up. The Buffalo Trace is hotter than the Travelers. For me, me too. Yeah, the Travelers was a lot smoother. Yeah. Oh. Like if it was a if it was a pick to be like, hey, Buffalo Trace or the Travelers, I go and pick Ooh. one. No. I'd pick Travelers right now. Oh, really? See, now for me, I didn't get any burn off the off the um, Buffalo Trace. I got burn on the nose, no but burn on the no taste. No burn, yeah. Easy, like, easy smooth going down, and it got very, like, think, a little bit of burn on the end. I think the taste of Travelers is better than Buffalo Trace. I almost get, like, you know, I think that the Buffalo Trace is a little bit sweeter. A little dry on the... On the finish? Yeah. On the back end? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go Buffalo Trace on this one, I think. You go Buffalo Trace over Travelers? Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to have to go Travelers. Over Buffalo Trace on this one. Yeah, you go Travelers? I'm Travelers. I go Buff Trace. All right. Travelers as far as smooth. This Buffalo is drier on the end. Mm hmm Yes. So if you had to pick one, which Traveler one would you pick? Traveler would more open your sinuses vapor-wise, where oh. Buffalo doesn't. That's weird. I thought, I, was, I thought different. So you're saying Traveler's more for sinus infections. <laughs> <laughs> That'll clear you out. I wouldn't want to get near with the match. <laughs> All right, so if you had to pick one, which, which one would you pick? Went to the store. They're like, hey, you know what? Two free bottles. You only get to pick one. Buffalo Trace or Travelers? You got somebody in the background sending off a message to me with gunshot. <laughs> Travelers. What do you think, Wayne? Buffalo on the nose. Traveler on the, the finish. Okay. Mix them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's, that's a that. whiskey. Let's try it. Right? Why not? Why not? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't mean either. I do. Oh, I don't. Oh, womp womp. Sorry. <laughs> Takes care of the travelers and the nose. I don't know if see. I don't know if anybody's done this before. And then they decided to mix the. Uh, I don't know. The buffalo trace. All right. I like the smell though. What do you think, guys? Last one. They, can do, it. they can do it with the barrel. We can do it with the bottle. <laughs> you ready to sip it? I did. I haven't. I just. I got. Nosed it. It's still. It's buffalo trace hot on the nose. Mm-hmm. Swirl. You get the. You get. You definitely. You get the heat from the buffalo trace. Nope, it kills the travelers, I think. Yep. Yep, I'm travelers all day. I do travelers before I do Buffalo Trace. Yep. Kind they of stay the in Asheville? You know? Uh, okay, so like, you know, here's, like, here's like, you know, something that, you know, that we can get into, you know, uh, so trying to find out about this bottle while we're going to do this little, you know, this quick flash review. So there's a little bit of conspiracy going on out there that, you know, uh, some people have said that there's even Buffalo Trace reps that have said that this isn't from Buffalo Trace. Really? That the whiskey is Canadian whiskey and is from Barton Distillery. And it's blended. We've done Barton. We have. So they've taken some Canadian whiskey, some Barton some Barton Distillery, and blended it, and then came up with Travelers. But I'm with you. I wouldn't mix them. I wouldn't mix them. No, don't mix them. 
I'm a Travelers guy before Buffalo Trace. Well, I'm, I'm a buff- Travelers yeah. before Buffalo Trace. I'm a Buffalo Trace guy. I think Buffalo. I like the Buffalo Trace better. Yeah? Travelers smoother. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I think so. I think Travelers is smoother. Wouldn't, so wouldn't Don't mix them. Like this. So now that you mixed them, what do you think? Probably the Traveler. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, I'm the I'm the lone wolf out You're here. You're the lone wolf. All right, I guess you the Canadian. Lone wolf you Canuck. No wait. No, we're <laughs> you guys are the Canucks. Yeah. We're Canucks. We're Canucks. Take off that mm-hmm. shirt. We're hey. Canucks, right? <laughs> oh Canada, <laughs> my home and native land. Well, they get rid of what's That's all I know. Name. They should be That's all the set. only part I know. <laughs> Something tried and true, or something, I don't know. That's all I know. <laughs> I think I need a cigar now. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, brother. We have mm-hmm. a super cool American flag on the hood, which came from... Americans should really be throwing up that. Ferroflags.com? Ferroflags? Ferroflags.com? That's there was a cutter that flew into my hands. Guys, <laughs> red or blue? Look! A cutter! Hey! Hey! Oh, wait. Well done, well done. How do you open these things? <laughs> okay, can, I the, can I have the force open this thing for me? Is I it more manly if I just bite the tip off? It totally. would be. Right? It would smell good though. But it's really manly when you light it off a 50 cal. Bite it off and then light it with a 50 cal? Well, it's a good thing it's nice and cool outside, so. <laughs> <laughs> right. You want to use a 50 cal or a beauty? Swimming through. I'm like Michael Swimming Phelps through? of Florida. <laughs> Hang on. I got. Oh! Oh, you got the torch. I have the torch with me just in case. The Buffalo Trace cigars are pretty good. Man, Buffalo Trace cigars, we gotta drink with the Travelers. Which is a Buffalo Trace product. Hmm. Interesting. What do you guys think of the Buffalo Trace cigars? Cigarellos? Mm-hmm. I don't. What's a cigarello? What's the difference between a cigarello and a cigar and a cigar? I- Cigarellos is gonna be smaller, more like a cigarette. So you won't need to cut it or anything. This so we had to cut these. So were these cigars? Yeah, they're more like cigars. They're thicker. It's like a small cigar. Just, I would not. I would not trade these. I would not put these as cigarellos. The cigarette is bigger, is uh, smaller than that. I love cigars, but they just. I taste them for like three days. These are like mini me's. <laughs> mm. But you know, do you taste the buffalo trace in the cigar? Mm. I don't taste the buffalo trace. Mine's well, I've been dipping it from the get go. Let's so. you try it in the beef stick? <laughs> wait, you, wait, wait. What? You can dip yours into mine? Yeah, why not? Where's your mouth then? <laughs> I know. <laughs> that's, that's a loaded question. Can I make out first? <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> you need to <laughs> All right, so can I leave you with a motto? Yes. You ready? Yes. May the wind always wear your hammock, your glass never go dry. America. Cheers. America. Wayne.